Welcome to Scoop of Very. Um, in this video, we'll be discussing uh, dry suit or wet suit hangers, uh, mainly be focusing on uh, dry suits. Now, however you hang your dry suit or how you store it, um, I know some people then use one of these to store these dry suits. And I suggest you can see it's just a normal hanger that you just put your shirts or your jackets on. Uh, if you do that, I recommend you just stop that now because it actually over time will be damaging your dry suit. Now your suits uh, is probably the most expensive part of the equipment you have for diving. So with the weight of your dry suit, especially when wet, will put a lot of pressure in that area and distort the, your shoulders of your dry suit. And again, this is not very, very strong. It's a potential of breaking and the actual suit could damage once dropped onto the floor. Anyway, so what I would recommend, if you've not done that already, is get a proper dry suit hanger. Now this is a dry suit hanger from Waterproof. Straight away you should notice that the actual hook is a lot thicker. It's quite, it's made of, I think, steel or some sort, or aluminium. It rotates. It's made of tough and plastic. Um, and you can see straight away again, the shoulder part compared to this. It's a lot wider. And the purpose for this is to um, keep the mold of, the, of your shoulders, so to um, the, distort the shape. And also, because it's um, shaped in this way, it spread the weight of the actual dry suit. So uh, less compression on the suit itself, um, and over time will, get, will wear um, the suit itself. And also, once you've washed your suit, your, your dry suit, um, and you've got it hung up anywhere, um, you could. This will actually encourage the um, air circulation and hopefully dry your suit a lot quicker. So I would recommend one of these. I will put the link down below where you can get one of these. Also, if you have a dry suit that has legs already attached, you can use one of these. I will demonstrate how to use one of these. Um, again, this is where the legs go through. Um, also handy, once you maybe do a, a routine wash inside your dry suit, or, and once outside, you don't want to, when you go diving, to get to your dive site and find out the suit itself is actually in the boots. They still have full of water. So this will make the suit go upside down and drain any excess water and make it dry a lot, lot quicker. Okay, I will show you next um, how to actually attach your dry suit to this type of hanger. Okay, you can see the hanger's attached and you're probably wondering what this is attached to. So I've done a video, if you've not watched it already ages ago, um, for this dive frame. Uh, for sawing equipment, which has been absolutely brilliant. Um, I'll put a, a link somewhere on the screen somewhere so you can watch it if you're interested. Uh, as you can see, it's handy for your BCD. Uh, like my equipment is stored in the garage, so it's been brilliant. Anyway, if you don't know already, there you are, your dry suits, uh, if you've got attached with legs, it just simply slides through the, the gaps, two feet, and just hang it upside down, Not like mine just place it in the bucket and it will just drain out um, and of course um, same with the hanger as well okay so that's about the dive hangers I hope you found it uh, some useful information and why you should actually have a proper uh, dry suit or wetsuit hanger instead of one of these again it will save you a small fortune and won't misshape your uh, suit and hopefully um, it will definitely help you dry the suit a lot easier. Okay, so what's coming else up, up in this channel? Um, again, it'll be some dives around uh, Scotland. And also coming up, uh, I've got a boat dive in Eyemouth. Um, hopefully I get some decent footage from that. It all depends on the um, footage, um, if it's not too murky. And also um, be diving soon in Menorca and then will be Florida. And then the one that I'm really looking forward to is a liverboard in Scapa. I'm doing about a week on there, but that's around September, October. So if you're interested in that and maybe some other kit ideas, uh, you know what to do, uh, please subscribe. Okay, until next time, safe diving.